What's up, beautiful humans? Today we are in downtown Anchorage and we're going to the Anchorage Museum just to learn about Anchorage, correct? And Alaska. And Alaska. So let's go in. We are here in the museum, and I'm trying to be quiet because it's a museum. Um, it's a beautiful museum. I came in this room, and look at this baked Alaska. Gorgeous. I walked around the corner and I came to these. And they almost look like photographs, but they're not. They're gorgeous. I found a photo of myself. Look. So I walked around the corner of this room and I just found this really interesting because when you look closer at a different angle, there's a mask, you can see mask, a mask right here, and a mask right here. But it blends in so perfectly when you do this. Crazy. So there are these arrows hanging from the ceiling. And then if you look closer, I'm gonna try and zoom in very slowly. They're ceramic, like China almost. I think from the ones that I've been in, these are my favorites. I really like this one. It's called Roll Rock River. Um, I want to point out that this beautiful abstract piece is called Idiot Tongues, and uh, yep. So we were mainly in the art section, according to Adam, and now we're moving into the actual, like, let's learn about Alaska and the state and the culture and the people. So look at this beautiful installation. It's gorgeous. They have a bunch of the ways of transportation in here, like boats, they have like, sled uh, bases over there, and it is pretty cool in here guys. So if you're in Anchorage, I already recommend coming here because it is very, very interesting. Here are the sled bases, like I mentioned, and snowshoes and different ways of walking around. Look at that. So these are actually a bunch of different spoons from the different tribes of Alaska. Like, look at the detail on some of these things. Beautiful. Of course, we got our Ulu knives here. The Alaska knife. And then these are pipes. Made out of ivory. Man, they are. I'm gonna zoom in. Look at that. So this room is basically just kind of debunking the fact that Alaska is cold, which of course it's cold, but it's just a uh, stereotype apparently according to this exhibit, which is actually really cool. And this part is just the Alaskan boom and bust of becoming more commercialized and things like that and it is bringing the outside in. Very interesting. We walked in to this section of the museum and it's about surfing. There's a whole exhibit about surfing and they are beautiful photographs. It's something called the boar tide um, here in Alaska that the waves um, just push a lot of water and people surf it. It looks like they do stand up paddleboard surfing um, from these photos, but man. What a beautiful setting to surf in. So similar to the um, Native Heritage Center that we were at, this uh, exhibit is basically distributed by tribe in Alaska. So it is divvied up, but this section is called the Smithsonian Institution um, section, the Arctic Study Center from the Smithsonian. And Adam mentioned that this is an expansion of the museum and they worked with the Smithsonian because this stuff was in the Smithsonian but in order to get stuff from the Smithsonian you have to um, have particular qualifications in your facility 
like temp controlled to preserve this amazing stuff. And so the Alaska Anchorage Museum worked with the Smithsonian to be able to bring this stuff back home so we could enjoy it here in Anchorage. Isn't that cool? They also have this um, section here where it says welcome and all the different native languages of the tribes here in Alaska. All right guys, we left the museum and now we have made it to Double Shovel, um, which is a cidery and I like cider. So they have brought me here to this amazing place and we are going to have some cider. So inside here, they've got some Halloween decor, witches hats and brooms hanging from the ceiling. I mean, look at that. They all got flights, but I got um, these beautiful flights and I got the pineapple, the cider mosa, the makers, which is a pear, and I got the brute and also it's a free sticker. Eddie and Mackenzie here again. I know that I did this in the last video, but um, I did it again. I didn't end the vlog. So in this one, we just uh, went to the Anchorage Museum, the downtown um, Anchorage Museum, and it was actually really, really cool. Beautiful art, beautiful photographs. Uh, my favorite was probably the um, the surfing exhibit um, for the Boar Tide, and that was amazing to see because you wouldn't think of surfing in Alaska, but the photos, the, like the photographs in the exhibit in general, and the information in there was just like breathtaking so I really enjoyed that um, the informational part and the seeing the Smithsonian area was really really cool because I've seen the Smithsonian I haven't actually been in the Smithsonian but um, I would love to explore that so as I mentioned in the video they come back um, when you have a facility to be able to house that kind of stuff to preserve it correctly so Anchorage Museum actually built on that area and they partner with the Smithsonian to make sure that they could preserve all that amazing artifacts and all those amazing pieces of um, culture properly and they have this beautiful exhibit now which was really cool to see and then we went to um, some food obviously <laughs> um, we did a lot of things we went to the cidery the double shovel and um, my favorite was the pineapple. It was super sweet and uh, it was just really cool vibe in there. They decorated for Halloween, which was really cool. And then um, it was just a fun day. Uh, a lot of information, a lot of exploring downtown Anchorage and spending time with Adam and Auburn. Um, Sherry joined us for the double shovel, of course. And then um, we had a great night. We got some hula hands, not hula hands. Hula Hands, it's a Hawaiian place in Anchorage, and we got that to go for uh, dinner. Super delicious, I got the chicken katsu, and it came with obviously katsu sauce, and then it came with uh, pulled pork, which was super savory, very smoky, but still super sweet, which was really great. Rice, and it came with a mac salad. And I don't normally like mac salad, but this one was actually not super mayonnaise-y, and it was really light and fresh. The noodles were cooked perfectly al dente, and it was just so good. We got that to go. We watched a movie, we hung out that night, and it was really chill, so I didn't end the vlog because I just went to bed after watching a movie with my friends, and it was just a great time. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm home, as you can see. Um, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and turn on that bell notification so you get notified every single time I post a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until next time, guys, be a beautiful human. Bye. Wanna subscribe? Click or tap right here. Want more Alaska? Click or tap right here. Want more of the adventure? Click or tap right here.